Not all the victims of 9-11 died on 9-11. Many who worked in the ruins of the World Trade Center developed serious illnesses, and the money in a federal program to help them out is running out. Dr. John LaPook has more on this. We're in toxic soup. You know, who knows what you, you were breathing in because it was so uh, thick. We met retired New York firefighter Ray Pfeiffer four years ago. He'd been living with advanced kidney cancer since 2009. When we spoke to him recently, he had a remarkable outlook. I, walk, I, I am the luckiest stage four cancer guy out there. I can't complain. I have 14 more years than my friends did. Pfeiffer is one of over 72,000 people who are part of the World Trade Center Health Program, which provides free monitoring and treatment for those who were injured or became sick following toxic exposures to the World Trade Center site. Dr. Jacqueline Moline has cared for 9-11 patients since the attacks. So do you think there's any reasonable doubt that in some people working at the World Trade Center site caused cancer? No. The World Trade Center Health Program certified a list of over 25 conditions, plus more than 50 types of cancer associated with exposure to 9-11 toxins. What's happened all these years later? I think people want to forget. They want to move on to the next thing. But uh, let me tell you, having taken care of patients for the last 14 years, they can't forget. Their health has been irreparably damaged. Federal funding for the health program expires on September 30th. It's up for reauthorization that would permanently cover health care for people like Ray Pfeiffer. If you didn't have the support from that bill, what would, what would have happened to it, you? It would be a big struggle. It, I, I would be struggling again. Cancer is very expensive in this country. And I'm telling you, people are going to die if we don't have this bill passed. The bill has bipartisan support with 30 co-sponsors, but it's still in committee and expires in less than three weeks.